Welcome, my name is Michael Ward, and I'll be instructor for the next course, Business Objects Web Intelligence Intermediate Reporting for version 4.0. What we're going to cover in the, in the course is number one, how to convert reporting blocks utilizing either the templates and or the turn to feature and convert them into other types of blocks, whether those are reporting blocks or chart blocks, it's part of what you're going to learn in this course. You're going to learn how to create charts directly and all the elaborate formatting can go along with it. You're going to learn how to create complex query filters using prompts and how to change prompt properties, you're, as well as learn how to create AND and OR conditions with your query filter conditions to properly select your data. You can learn how to work with more complex cross table reports and various reporting functions in the cross tabs. So we're going to take it up a whole notch and learn how to do a very simple basic one. We're going to move it all the way up to an advanced level of cross tables. We're going to create input controls and show how to do that and create some really slick, really cool interactive filtering conditions in a way that makes it easier for end users to utilize your report in a more effective way. And we'll learn how to apply conditional formatting at a more advanced level to a cross-tab report or a cross-table as we now call them in the new world of version 4.0. So the course objectives are going to learn how to create format types. You're going to learn how to create a variety of charts and there's a mixing and matching between these two pieces. You start with a report, convert it to a chart. Conversely, you can start with a chart, convert it to a report, something we often don't think about. And we're going to learn how to create those complex conditions, our ands and ors and our prompts. We're going to learn how to create comp complex cross tables and apply reporting functions both on the down dimensions and the across dimensions as well. And, and then apply all those as well as the input control feature as well as advanced formatting, all part of the course objectives for the Web Intelligence Intermediate Reporting class. Course prerequisites. We've assumed that you've taken the Web Intelligence Basic Reporting class. We need to make sure that you understand the basics of queries and query filters and the formatting options and how to use the reporting functions in a typical ver vertical table. So that as we move into those topics in an intermediate course, uh, you're in a position to very quickly learn how to apply those in the different types of report blocks. Some registered trademarks and copyrights, business objects logo, minor business objects query and web intelligence are registered trademarks of business objects. The business objects tagline, broadcast agent, business objects, personal trainer, rapid deployment templates, and set analyzer are trademarks of business objects SA. All screenshots from business objects software products are copyrighted by business objects SA, all rights reserved. Microsoft Windows, Windows NT, Windows 7, Access, Microsoft Windows VBA, Visual Basic logo, and other names of Microsoft products referenced herein are either registered trademarks or trademarks of Microsoft Corporation in the United States and or other countries. Oracle is a registered trademark of Oracle Corp Corporation. All other names of Oracle products referenced herein are trademarks or registered trademarks of Oracle Corporation. Okay. All other products and company names mentioned herein are the trademarks of their respective owners. CTTS is not an authorized business partner of business objects. Module topics include report block types. How do I take a vertical table and default it to a horizontal table, to a cross table or whatever, uh, depending which type that you're looking to do, and that could be charts as well. How to create sectioned reports, what we call the master detail report. How to create extensive charts and apply extensive formatting to go along with it. How to create complex query filters. How do I expand on my prompts? How do I create AND and OR conditions that are very real life, the typical scenario you and I run into in a business environment? So we're going to be using ANDs and ORs. We're going to talk about intermediate and advanced cross tables. We start with basic cross tables early in this course. We move to the intermediate level and then we take you all the way up to the advanced level. Kind of build it in stages to make it easier for you to digest as we like to say. We'll learn how to apply input controls to give us a really neat, really cool uh, dynamic report filtering conditions. And of course the major topic we finish out the intermediate course with is conditional formatting but now we're going to do it at a little bit more advanced level and we're going to apply it to a cross table and not just a typical vertical table report. The curriculum path would normally be you would come through the Business Objects Web Intelligence 4.0 process by first taking the basic, then taking the intermediate course, which you're currently now signed up for and that we're doing now. Logical next step from there would be to able to would take the advanced course and get into some of the more truly advanced topics that comprise the Web Intelligence reporting tool for version 4.0. Materials to download. From the course materials perspective, you can download the student guide. You can download the exercise guide as well, and those would be good tools to, to aid you as well. 
Downloading a student guide or having that printed off gives you the opportunity to put notes at different stages or different points. As I reference things throughout the course during the demos point, it gives you an opportunity to put down meaningful notes and comments. And something that I like to do, I always like to mention best practice things, guidelines and so on as we go through that as well. So now let's get started.